And you do that there is out there rolling. Yes, sir. I'm talking about it's rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm -hmm. So much to the point it kicks Master P. Yeah. Talk about right. that. Right. Well, you know, them being the head of the fashions, you know, C Loke Ruckers and No Limit Ruckers, you know, so I look to my big brothers. They was more in cahoots with each other. They yeah. had the connection. I'm yeah. still in the back room with the boys and we working, you know. Mm -hmm. We making the digital dope shit, you know what I mean? Yes. The label heads, they yeah. got together. Right, they done got together. <clears throat> that record took off for me. Shouts out to my big brother, Jewel Jackson, in 94.1. We helped birth that radio station. I did him a special version. I'm Stitch for Stitch, man. Yeah. Me and Jewel had groups. When Jewel was playing commercials at the baseball radio station in Plaquemine and Port Island when I was a kid. So I had certain roots with the radio guy. I read it. You see what I'm saying? Yes, like how you what you was doing here mm -hmm. from the AM station to the yeah. Oh no, that was FM. Okay, okay. That yeah. was FM, baby. Okay, 89.9. 89.3. You know. FM, baby. Okay, okay yeah. <laughs> we was last on the FM dial. <laughs> yes, sir. Look, but on the FM dial, mm -hmm. I always start that because I think underground up. AM yes. plus the, I wanted the best of both worlds. Yeah. Whatever yeah. the popping AM station, where we was, it was WX okay. Okay. Um Q um what it was, Paul um Q one oh six was our FM station. Gotcha. Then ninety four one birthed Jewel Jacks. Okay. Jewel was already my big dog. We had a group together. We used okay. to make records and do talent shows. And shouts out to our homegirl Katina King of the Frog and Mo Project. She was our yo yo, our MC Light. Her name was D Light. I read it. What I was vicious on the mic young, she was my alter ego as a female. Gotcha. Yeah, and Jewel was my she at now? guy. I hadn't talked to her in years. Me and really? Jewel just recently reconnected, and we doing things. I got a documentary coming out. Shouts out to my cousin, uh, Frog, for Picture Perfect on um, Studio. We really? shooting the Young Bleed documentary, so I'm finna bring all that to the table really? and let people know what the truth is. It's going to be dope. But I'm looking for my homegirl. She actually moved from Louisiana to Texas years ago. So, you know. Y'all can find her. Yeah, Katina King. Yeah, Katina yeah. King, yeah. reach out. Reach MC Delight, man, way back then. <laughs> but, but that kind of thing, so with Jewel being in that kind of position, gave me a catapult in the alley because I have already did my work with guys. Gotcha. So when we got in positions, I'm going to call you like you call, like when I'm coming here, I'm going to see you. Mm -hmm. And my casa su casa the other way. Yes, sir. And that's just, you know, real niggas do real things, yeah. bro. And don't change. So that's how we, we say 10 plus years. Yes. I come out here in 04. We knew each other just in the past and for then, mm -hmm. but Dallas became my second home in 04. Yeah. November yeah. 2004, yeah, yeah, November 4th. I'll never forget because I spent the night in Denton County. Come on mm. vacation and the leave on probate. Welcome yeah. to Texas, man. Welcome to Texas. That part. So, yeah, my brother. <clears throat> so when Master P got involved, mm -hmm. what did they tell you? What was the words that were said? Um, Actually, Paul come to me and say, you know, P num, you know, want to do like a remix to this joint. You know what I mean? A couple of dollars, a possible trip to California, yeah. deal with priority records. Okay. Hey man, I'm still working a day job, hustling in, in Baton Rouge. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Everything, everything sound good. I'm, I'm rolling some lime rocks one day in the wheelbarrow, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Skinny nigga. My, and we still had the interlink beep. Yeah. My shoulders. And my body felt light as a mother, light. Something just lifted off me. Look at my beep with this paw. I barely go in the office, you know what I mean? And use the phone, definitely. Hey, bro, you want to go to California? Yeah, man, what's happening? Well, they've been working on this. Ooh, ooh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I work two J day job. <clears throat> Either construction in the daytime or this apartment complex with Webby. We know each other because he was a kid there when I was there. That's a different story. But daytime I do that work at Pizza Hut at night, leave Pizza Hut and go to the studio and record yeah. a few record wake up all over again. Yeah. And um The Red Wheel. The yeah, Red Race. Yeah, 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 hustling, you know, on the in between. So P hit me like, hey man, woo woo woo. Yeah, yeah. So I go in the office. I never gave a job a two week notice. Cause that's how it happened. Mm hmm And look, I've been working on y'all all my life. Woo woo woo. Take a chance to go to California for the weekend. If it don't work out, I'll be back to work. I'll be, I'll be here Monday. And they wished me the best, and the rest was history. Real. I took a plane trip to California, man, and yeah, I mm. never looked back. Did that happen? That, that song went gold. Well, what I want to say, the song is platinum, because you got to keep this in mind. It's on the body soundtrack when you say 98. Yes. The body soundtrack is the summer of 97. 
Oh, okay. It's already cracking. It's already cracking. Yay. So, so you had to split sales. Yay. So yeah. when I drop, it's golden officially in three weeks. Because it ran from, from June. Oh, nigga, that was, shot a, the video. That, was a, that was a song of the summer. Yeah. Come on, man. The Bobby soundtrack. Come Bobby on, bro. movie. That type of that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a kid. I wake up six in the morning, man. It's three buses of bitches. <laughs> a big ass yacht. Yeah. Uh, Bentley right here, Lil Ralph, because you know you can't bring the yacht to the beach. We in yeah. Malibu some fucking well, man. I'm still getting used to California. I don't want to ride. First, I didn't smoke weed, cookies, all that shit. Hold up, man. Yeah. This three months after the death of B, right around the corner. Yeah. Six months after the death of Pop. I'm 22 years old. I'm turning 23 in 97. Yeah. That's how I know it. Cause that was like a birthday life gift for me. Yeah, yeah. June 6th. We in June right now. Mm. That's how it happened that many years ago. So it was mind blowing. As a young nigga, I'm thinking this, man. Fuck that weed. I don't want no drink. Man, it, that, that, that's, a, that's a suburban limousine, man. This shit fast. And, you know, I'm from Louisiana, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. My you, mom you used to kick me out of California as a kid because my home is going to get killed in the blood and crip shit in the 80s. Yes. I ain't teeing. Family out there. My mother wouldn't let me go 11, 12 yeah. years old. So 10 years later, when you're talking 12, I'm 22 now. <clears throat> and now I got the purpose, and everything is everything. It's your girl, Jazzy K, with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos